In this video, we're going to learn two different ways of preparing an omelet. So my, pan, my pan is preheated. And I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of fat, maybe a little less. A little more fat than we used in our scrambled eggs. A ladle of my eggs. Put them into my pan. And I'm immediately going to start swirling my pan. This is the point where I would put, if I wanted cheese, I would put a little bit of cheese in the center of my omelet. I'm going to start shaking back and forth. And you see how that omelet formed right in my pan? and out onto the plate. If the omelet's at all misshapen, I can use uh, a rubber spatula to get the shape nicer. And you see why with this I wanted to use that hot pan. Um, if I had used a lower pan, I would be a lower heat on my pan, I would be a little more likely to add brown. And you can see on this omelet, there's no brown at all. And that's exactly what I want to see. I want a nice, consistent omelet. Uh, we're going to let this sit for a second while we cook our other omelet and then we'll cut into it and you'll see that it is uh, cooked through even though it looked a little runny as we formed it. For my next method, uh, we're also going to use about a medium or medium high heat and we want our pan to be preheated. Once again, use just shy of a tablespoon of clarified butter. Pan's nice and preheated. Our butter's all melted. So we're going to use our scrambled egg technique, where we're going to kind of push into the center of our pan until we're about halfway formed. So now you can see my omelet base is formed. At this point, I'm going to add any fillings that I want. In this case, I'm just going to use cheese. I'm going to start by flipping the back of my omelet over the top and then using the front of my pan. And you can see there I have a nicely formed omelet without any brown on the outside. You could see both of those omelets were um, maybe a little bit on the runny side when we formed them, but as they've sat, you can see that there's really no runny egg. There's a little bit of cheese in there, but it's not a raw omelet. The same thing here. When we cut into this, we have really nice soft eggs and that runny cheese, uh, but a cooked through omelet. Let's review. When making omelets, we want to start with about a medium or medium high heat and work quickly. The two methods that we covered in this video are first, use a circular motion to collect the eggs in the bottom of the pan, then shake back and forth to form your omelet. The second forming technique that we used, we used a rubber spatula to push the eggs into the center of the pan to form our base, and then used the pan itself to form the omelet. Finally, Try not to incorporate any brown into your omelet. Proper heat management will prevent the eggs from browning. 